Hi, Kelly Sparta, the spirit doctor, transformational shaman back again. So I am wanting to talk to you today about the difference between prayer and manifestation. And so I get this, uh, when I talk to people of different faiths, they will often talk about prayers. And there is this, I, I had a conversation many years ago, like, oh, God, I don't even like 25 years ago. And uh, there was this guy who I was talking to about, he, he came into town, I was a real estate trainer, and I was uh, on during a class and, and for trainers from around the country. And, and, you know, we were taking this class together. And so I gave everybody a tour of Salem, Massachusetts, because I was living in Boston at the time. And I was walking through and I was explaining the belief structures of the Wiccans and things like that. And, and uh, he was, he started calling me the oogity boogity lady <laughs> because I knew all of this stuff. I did not out myself <laughs> as a shaman, um, but I said that, you know, I had a lot of Wiccan friends. And so I understood the, what the belief structure was. And, and, uh, and he was just like, you know, well, you know, blah, 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 spell work, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, you know, prayer and spell work are basically the same thing. And he's like, oh, no, it's not, blah, blah, blah. And I, I was like, mm, so you are taking an intention and desire and you're giving it up to a higher power and you're asking for them to fulfill the desire. And he's like, well, yeah, but you know, they, they make it happen and they, ex, you know, they expect it to come true, blah, blah, blah. I said, you don't expect God to answer your prayers, right? And that I think is often the difference between prayer and manifestation. And I think that that's the piece is that there is a, there's a difference in the, in the mindset between uh, someone doing a prayer versus someone doing a manifestation. And that difference is the expectation that it will happen. With, the, with a prayer, what you're doing is you're giving the request to a higher being and you're saying, if you deem me worthy, if you think it's right, if it's in your plan for me, please, I would like this. Whereas with a manifestation, you're saying, hey, universe, could you help me up with this? Because this is what I want. And can you make it happen? And then you're expecting it to happen, right? And the difference between those two things is how you're treating the higher power. In the first case, you're treating the higher power as a parent who is uh, a loving parent looking out for you and who has a plan for you that is greater than what you can see. And in the second case, you're treating the, the higher power as a partner and you're saying, hey, you know, this is what I want. Can you make it happen? And in the second case, if you're doing manifestation properly, what you're actually saying is, can you make this happen for me? And I'm not going to tell you how, because I recognize that you've got a broader vision than I have and that you understand the circumstances better than I do. And that there are things that may or may not get in the way of that. And that there may be things that have to come before that. You know, maybe if I'm asking you to, um, let's say that I'm asking you to uh, bring me a, a business that is, you know, $500,000 a year. Well, I may need to do some identity up leveling to get to that level, or I may need to uh, learn some new skills to get to that level. There's lots of things that may need to happen before I get there. So I trust that that's going to be the case and I may have to, to take steps along the way, right? But it's an assumption that you are in partnership rather than an assumption that you are a child to that parent. And it's not a difference in whether or not you're loved. It's a difference in what role you're playing and whether it is a choice role or whether it is a subject to role, right? In, in manifestation, you're in choice. In uh, the, the former, in prayer, you're subject to the will of the deity, okay? And so that's the differential between the two. So if you're, if you're considering which one you want to do, now you know. And it's whatever you're comfortable with. You know, I'm not going to say one is better than the other. I, I, it's, it's whatever you're comfortable with, okay? So with that, I'm going to call this particular one complete. 
if you are interested there, I'm doing interviews all over the place. I'm, I'm on many, many different podcasts and a lot of different places on other people's podcasts. And, and if you are interested in learning more about those and hearing about those when they happen and things like that, join the mailing list get on the mailing list at kellysparta.com. The easiest way to get on the mailing list is to download the Boundaries for Empaths program. It's a free download that will get you on the mailing list, or you can scroll to the bottom of the, the home screen and there's a join the mailing list at the bottom there as well. Uh, but join our mailing list because every week you're, we're going to come out with a new uh, batch of things that are, you know, these videos and any podcasts I've produced, any articles I've written, any places I've been interviewed. There's a huge amount of content that's available for you for free if you join the mailing list. And you'll also get notifications of any special events. You know, when we start running the retreats again, you'll get no notifications on those. And, ooh, you do not want to miss those. Those are awesome. Um, and, you know, it's a great way to stay in touch. And if you respond to a, a newsletter, I actually write you back. Who knew? So, um, you know, feel free to, 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 to join the mailing list and respond back to a newsletter at some point. And, and uh, I'd love to have a conversation with you. So that's it for this time. Uh, we'll talk next time. Have a great one. Don't forget to subscribe and like.